Hey everyone, this is Matt with Learn Everything About Design. And in this video, the third part of our configuration mini series, we are gonna talk about detailed drawings. Uh, so for this example, we're gonna be using the NEMA motor mount. So if you configured this on your own in the first video, then make sure that you use your own design. There is a download link in the description of this video, which you could try to download. I'm honestly not sure if downloading a configured part will actually work or not. So there is a chance that those configurations will come through. Also note that if you're on a hobby license, unfortunately you don't have access to configurations to the best of my knowledge. So this is just not something that you have access to. But let's go ahead and let's get started by creating a basic detailed drawing. So we can do this a couple ways. We can go to drawing from design, or we can go to our file menu and go to new drawing. There are also options to right click and create a new drawing this way. Doesn't really matter which way you get to it. All of them are gonna go to the same place. Now, the first thing that we're gonna do is note that at the top that we've got some automatic modes for creating drawings. This is a new feature that was recently released, which has some automated drawing capabilities. And we're gonna use that in this video, but note that you can also do this manually. What we're gonna do is we're gonna select the configuration we want. We're gonna be using the ISO standard, which is first angle projection. And we're gonna use the first level structure. Doesn't matter because it's a single part. Uh, if, if you were dealing with an assembly of components, then that would matter. But in our case, we're just gonna say, okay. Generation has started. And essentially what's happening is this new automatic method for creating drawings. This is gonna go through the process of trying to create a detailed drawing and all the dimensions for that part for you automatically. So we're gonna open that drawing and we're gonna take a look at the results. So this is pretty amazing. This is a great option for us to create a fully detailed model. We can modify things like the density and what this is gonna do is it's gonna um, increase or decrease the number of dimensions that we need. And we can also modify things like the datum location we can pick some of the other options. So we can use baseline dimensions. We can use chain dimensions. Uh, in this case, I'm going to use the symmetric with baseline option and simply say, okay. But I strongly suggest that you take a look at using the automated drawing technology. It's pretty great. It's a pretty new addition to Fusion, and, and I will be covering that in its own video at some point. But for right now, we at least got a taste of it. So when we're talking about detailed drawings and configurable parts, there is an important distinction that we need to understand. No matter how many sheets we add, the configuration of any of the sheets is going to convey to the rest of them. Uh, what that means is we can't simply duplicate this. So for example, if we were to duplicate and go to our second sheet, right click and change the configuration, it's going to affect the first sheet as well. Um, so this is a problem when we're talking about trying to create a multi-sheet drawing for variations of a design. So when we're talking about using configurations in a drawing, the best method is to create a fully detailed single version of your drawing. We're gonna save that drawing. In this case, we're gonna call this one our NEMA 8 drawing. And then what we'll do is we'll do a save as. Now, when we do a save as, we'll change the name to NEMA 11. We'll save that new detailed drawing. And once this one is saved, all we need to do is switch our configuration. We're gonna say yes, okay, we're gonna allow it to make those changes. And because everything is detailed and drawn to those references of our geometry, things like whole locations, overall bracket size, everything should update. There might be some exceptions for things like repositioning dimensions. You may need to move things around. You may need to add a dimension edge break for overlapping dimensions. But for the most part, you'll find that this process actually works pretty well. We'll save this one. Once again, we'll do a save as. This time we're gonna create a NEMA 14 drawing. And once it's saved, we'll just switch our configuration. We're gonna say, okay. We'll go to 14, allow it to update. Once again, you may need to reposition drawing views. You may need to move dimensions around just because uh, those are going to potentially overlap. Uh, so in this case, I'll take this whole drawing view and just move it down, make sure everything is okay. And then we'll save this one. 
Another thing you could do because we do have automated modeling is you could simply recreate a new drawing for each configuration. But if you are entering values into a title block or you're making multiple sheet drawings, potentially including assemblies, then probably just doing a save as is going to be the best way to repurpose that work. So the last one here, we'll do a NEMA 17. Once it's saved, we'll right click and we'll switch our configuration. We'll select the NEMA 17, allow it to load, and then we'll simply move the drawing views a little bit to make space for all the dimensions. Again, using this first angle projection and everything looks pretty good. So we'll save that one. And now we have four different detailed drawings, one for each configuration. And really all we had to do was create the first one and then do a save as, then right click and switch configurations. Keep in mind that if we have multiple drawing sheets, so for example, if I make a second drawing sheet and I add a new base view, let's say that maybe we're going to do a section view. Let's go ahead and just add that one there. And let's do a section view on this drawing. We'll say okay and we'll pull this over. Uh, once again, the configuration that we have for this view is going to be the same configuration for the entire drawing. So if I decide to switch this configuration to, let's say, the NEMA 11, that'll change it on this drawing sheet and it'll change it on the first drawing sheet as well. So once again, making sure that you spend the time to create your first detailed drawing package with whatever views, whatever sheets you need, then doing a save as and changing the configuration will update all of the drawing sheets in that drawing package. So we'll do a save on this one once again, but that is the basic process of using a configured part in a detailed drawing. Now, I know that there are other topics and other things that will come up with configurations. So if you do have additional questions, leave them in the comments. And I try to answer every comment that comes in on these videos. I can address configurations a bit more, but I think with the three videos here, the parts, the assemblies, and the detailed drawings, this should be enough basic information to get people started configuring their own designs. So once again, any comments or questions, leave them under this video. And as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.